Well, hello and welcome to At Home today. We have a really special program. I want you to call your friends, call the neighbors, and get everybody tuned in to watch this program because it's special because it's somebody who's really close to us is going to be here with his wife. And I'm going to introduce them to you in just a minute. First of all, I got, you know, I'm always reading the mail, and these are really neat letters. Can you get a shot of these guys? These are some of the nicest little creations that some of the viewers have sent to me. This one here that you're seeing is a napkin holder. Isn't that nice? And this is all made out of, uh, what do you call this, Linda? Plastic, Can plastic canvas that they do um, yarn work with. They work with yarn, yarn, and they make it look like a house. And this was sent to me by... Um, a lady by the name of Shirley Church from Altoona, Pennsylvania. Thank you, Shirley. This is really cute. It looks, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of work in that, and I really appreciate it. That is a neat little uh, napkin holder. And then this came from Gloria Kearney of New Kensington. This is really unique because this is, again, that plastic uh, canvas stuff. And what she's done is made a stove. This little pan is actually even attached to the burner. Isn't that neat? And you can see... You turn it all around. She has just outlined and combined the pieces, the different sizes, with yarn. But it's really a recipe box, and you put your recipes in there. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, Gloria. And she also sent me one of these. I'm sure that you've seen this before. You have to try to figure out what the word is on there. And I hope I have it the right way. Okay, and when you look at it, it obviously shows that the name is Jesus there probably someone that she's very close to. Thank you so much, ladies. I really appreciate your thoughtfulness. And uh, it's nice to do things like this. I'm the recipient of this, and I appreciate this very much. But it's nice to do little things like this for a neighbor who maybe is shut in or someone that from church who just is not well or just a little thought for a friend that you've spent some of the time putting yourself into a little gift like this. It really is appreciated. Thank you so much again, ladies. And thank all of you for your continued comments about the program that you enjoy at home. We're really glad that we can keep coming to you week after week after week, bringing you this program. Well, I told you I was going to have special guests today. And the fella that I'm going to tell you about used to work here and was part of our team here at Cornerstone Television. His name is Ken Blos. Something happened to Ken. He took a missionary trip to Mexico, and while he was there, the Lord dropped a love for the people and for the city into his heart. And while he was there, not only did he have this encounter with the city, but he also met somebody else who really is a big part of his life now. In fact, here's a picture of Ken. You can see his the luxury uh, accommodations there. He's really doing a lot of work, good missionary work in Mexico, have a tremendous, tremendous ministry for children. He's with uh, Chris Jones, who's one of our favorites here. It's Christian Advanced International. It's a wonderful missionary group there. They literally minister to thousands of children every week. And right in the middle of it is Ken and his newlywed wife, Juana. And they're going to be back as my very special guest in just a minute. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Here's today's at-home hint. When using a recipe card, slip the card between the tines of a fork and stand the fork in a glass. The card will be held at just the right angle and will be safe from spills. For updates, pictures, stories, and more, like us on Facebook. To watch hundreds of classic episodes, subscribe to us on YouTube. And to get hundreds of free recipes, visit ctvn.org slash at home. Well, we're back, and I'd like to introduce officially, this is Ken Blos and his lovely wife, Juana. Welcome to our at-home kitchen. Ken, it's a little different on this side of the camera, yeah, Oh, isn't yeah. It? Thanks for having us. <laughs> well, you know, I know that you've only been married a very short time, 10 months, you said? Yeah. And uh, is she a good cook? She's a fantastic cook. She's learned a lot from my mother-in-law, and um, it's 
really Mexican cuisine. In fact, she doesn't hardly speak any English. I know. And she <laughs> doesn't cook any American. But you know what? And Look it's at this fantastic. girl's face. She doesn't have to speak English. This girl, you can see the love of Jesus shining out through her eyes and her smile. So what I'm going to do is talk to you, and you're going to interpret when I ask her questions, okay? Okay, right. And she's going to prepare. Now, are these two dishes that you're going to do today, are these things that are like in the normal cuisine for Mexican families? Yeah, these are very popular um, Mexican dishes, and they're, pop and they're easy to make here because the ingredients are here. They make a lot of different things in Mexico that are very difficult to find in the United States. You well, have to go to specialty right. stores. But um, here, these are all ingredients you can find in a common supermarket. And, and they're common things that they make, and they make and they eat there. One is a soup, and one is tacos. It's called tortilla soup, tortilla right? Tortilla soup. No. They have the very similar ingredients, but a very distinctive taste. That you ah. have a very distinctive mm -hmm. taste. Now, what's the spice? Ask Juana, what's the spice most commonly used in Mexico? ¿Qué especie usan la, la más en México? Ajo, cebolla, y cominos, pimientas. They use a lot of uh, onions and garlic and um, ajo, cebolla, and so chilies, chilies. chilies and um, cilantro mm -hmm. and jalapenos. They have a, a great number of chilies. Cumin? Cuminos? Is that what that is? Si. Mm -hmm. Cuminos. Okay. Cuminos. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Okay, because that's the distinctive flavor I always taste in Mexican food is the cumin usually. Uh -huh. But okay. You, she should start and prepare and okay. just tell us what you're going to put, you know, what Okay, she's the first together. thing we're going to do is going to work on a little bit on our tortilla salad, uh, tortilla soup. She's okay. going to start cutting up the tortillas, and we fry the tortillas, make little chips out of them, and that's mm -hmm. part of the soup. Now, the, the original, the main part of the soup we've already made, it's a, a, like a chicken broth. We boil chicken with uh, onion, with, uh, with one onion. And we have, that's well, half onion actually, three peeled cloves of garlic, okay. a four, quarter teaspoon of salt, and we have, we, and so in a chicken. So you boiled the chicken. Right, in a chicken bouillon. And so that flavors it right. while you're cooking and it. And it makes it a, a really nice flavor, mm -hmm. um, and it keeps it um, wet, nice, huh? and it keeps yeah. it um, tender. So she's going to start cutting the, um, the, uh, the tortillas, and you need to cut these tortillas into little strips. Okay. And she's going to start cutting them now. now and I'm going to get our oil ready. Okay. Because the oil, we're going to put these in oil and cook them, and they're going to make like ah. little chips. All right. Okay. Now, Ken, I understand that there you can go and buy fresh made tortillas in Mexico? Yes, in uh, Mexico they have like factories where just about in every street corner you can go, and there's a factory where um, they make them. They have these machines, they crank, and they have oil coming out, and you wonder what's how good, gonna make, what yeah. good's going to come out of this. But those things come out like hotcakes. And how much are they? And they're about, um, they're 700 pesos, or 70 cents, uh, uh, every two pounds a kilo. So that's about 35 cents a kilo, a, a pound. A or, pound, right. wow. So they're, um, they, those are what everyone buys, everyone eats them. They're like their bread and then for every meal they have. That's their normal table. Right. Uh, so yes, I'm going to okay. get the, we're going to put this on a low flame because okay. it's oil. All right, Let's push see. it and turn. There you there go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, oil gets hot no, quickly. No uh -huh. Has to be at a low flame. All right. Okay, we're going to so let you've that taken warm up a little bit. After you cut these, you need to let them out in the air just a little bit or, you know, before you cut them out in the air a little bit so they start getting to dry. dry. Okay. okay, and that'll make them crispier when you fry them. All right. And then another thing is you cut them in half because you don't need, want them to be too long. All right. She's cut them in Now, these are going to flavor the soup, is that right? Yeah, it's part of the flavor, flavor of the, the soup. soup. Mm -hmm. Now, once you have your chicken cooked, and you bring it out and you shred it. Right, we mm -hmm. take the chicken out and we shred it. And part of it we're going to use for the tacos that but we're going to make. it's all chicken breast, right? Right. Boneless all chicken breast? Boneless chicken Good. breast. So we take that and we shred it, and then we, put the, we can put the chicken back into the soup and let it, and have it keep right. it warm. Then once we have our strips, then we can go and we can fry them. All right. So we're going to go over. She's going to put those in, and then she's going to start frying the. Um, yeah, that would be start good. Start frying those. Because I have never seen anybody fry these as uh, She's just chips. letting it get a little bit warmer. It's not hot enough yet. Okay. So, 
And um, once you do that, you have these fried chips. This is what they will look like when we're done with them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And to prepare the soup. Are they crisp? Can I touch one? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, they're crisp. They're mm -hmm. crisp. Okay. And actually, if people like tortilla chips, they can make them. And these are just like yeah, tortilla chips you buy own. in the store. And so they're you very could buy good. those and cut those into the little uh, triangle shapes and brown them, and exactly. you'd have your own fresh tasting, too. Exactly. My wife That's does that, idea. and they are fantastic. Yeah. But what you do is you take one of these, and we need a bowl. You know, okay, we need a, a soup bowl. All right, here's a small soup bowl? Yeah, like okay. as if we were doing the soup. Okay, hold on just a minute, I'll get it. Mm -hmm. Okay, tú keep talking. You two puedes hacer esto. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Okay, we have our soup bowl. What we do is we would put these in here first. Okay. And then we have cheese. Now, Mexican cheese has different names. They're, they're cheeses, they make them in different states of Mexico. So, of course, they don't have them here. So, we went around to the supermarkets and we found the closest cheese to the cheese that we use in Mexico is mozzarella. Mm -hmm. okay. And we, we buy it, it's called string cheese here. And we bought it and we strip it down. Ah. Okay, like this. You What's take it the, called in Mexico? This is, uh, this is similar to a cheese in Mexico called Oaxaca. Oaxaca. Which is a state in southern Mexico. Ah. It's a, a lot of the people um, from the Indian descent live there. There's a lot of the indigenous people live in the state of Oaxaca. And their cheese is very stringy. Hmm. similar to mozzarella. So okay. what we do, after we shred the cheese like mm -hmm. this, we would also put that in with our, with and that's going to be chips. part okay. of the soup. Then you'd pour the soup over that, then right? Then you pour the and soup, serve it. And, the, and, the, um, and with the chicken, the soup and, it's, and chicken in there, and then you put sour cream on top of it. Wow. And we made this from my father. When we first came in, she, the first thing she did was make a meal for my oh, parents nice. to test this out on them, and they, they love just it? loved this soup. Well, your dad called to tell us. He said, now, they've been working here trying these recipes out, and mm -hmm. so far, everything is delicious. <laughs> 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 so I know that dad's enjoying your yeah. visit here. She's making these, uh, these chips. chips now. She's stirring them. You have to keep stirring them, turning them over the entire ah, time okay. okay and about how long do you cook them it, uh, you wait until they're kind of a golden color golden brown. like you see there in the uh, in the finished product you wait till they're kind of brown you don't want to burn them make sure they mm -hmm. don't go black on you and then when you're done you will take them out and you put them in a strainer mm -hmm. and you let the oil drip now, out let me ask you mm -hmm. maybe I should have you ask Juana okay Juana what was the first meal you cooked for Ken ¿Puedes recordar la primer, primer cena que hiciste para mí? Sí. Mm -hmm. yeah. What was it? Es este bistec empanizado. It's like a, a beef steak with, uh, it's like a steak. Um, what is it called here? It's called a Virginia <laughs> fried steak. A chicken fried chicken steak. Fried steak. Chicken uh -huh. fried steak. Chicken fried steak. Okay. And what else? Okay, Con ensalada y arroz. So the salad, salad and rice. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, and she Sounds makes. Like she's treating you well. They call it milanesa. The, the chicken fried steak mm -hmm. is called milanesa. Milanesa. And it is extremely delicious. And they put it in a sandwich. And um, I always get that. Yeah. I love it. And she does a fantastic job making it. The other that. thing that I have noticed, um, they're going to be doing some tacos in just a minute. Mm -hmm. And here, every time we have tacos, it's usually with ground beef. Right. But you make the tacos with chicken. Okay, yeah, that's, I'm glad we're doing something different. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> because mm -hmm. the chicken is um, one of the What's most popular you? things in Mexico. Of course, it's very, mm -hmm. a lot more uh, nutritious than the beef or any other kind of thing sure. you can put in a taco. It's very nutritious uh, meat, and it's delicious. Mm -hmm. And we and use the same. it's readily available? Right, it's very right. available. I mean, a lot of families we, where we live, we can go into their houses and they have chickens and they, mm. they have them very fresh. <laughs> yeah, like pick yours and we'll have them for yeah. dinner, right? Okay, so she's cooking these and um, as, as they're getting brown and she would okay. take them and put them into here. Now, we prepare our chicken. It's, we're going to use the same chicken that we've cooked in the soup okay. and we're going to prepare it in a special way okay. and I'm going to do that. If you love At Home with Arlene Williams, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have hundreds of episodes with all your favorite recipes, holidays, and friends. Say hi to your fan club. Hi, fan club. And don't forget to click the bell so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. We have some tomatoes here. Okay. We're going to use those. Tomatoes and I'm going to cut up another one. Big. Hope I don't cut my finger off. Yeah, we all remember, if you've <laughs> been a, a Cornerstone Television fan for very long, you will know that several years ago we had Ken in front of the camera making his famous Polynesian cowboy Polish delight 
which really was glorified baked beans with pineapple. And as I recall, Ken, you had a problem with a can. Yeah. It attacked I, you on air. If we, I, the FCC wouldn't let us bring a can <laughs> on this program today. because That's it's right. We wanted to too save violent. you because you're too important to Mexico to lose your life. I'm you're glad this knife wasn't very sharp. <laughs> Okay, so what we have is we have two tomatoes. All right. Okay, and we have a blender. Now, I've noticed in every Mexican home, the blender is one of the primary things mm -hmm. they use. They make sauces with their blenders. They make what they call aguas, which are like fruit drinks. Really? Licuados, which are fruit drinks, but using milk instead of water, and all kinds of things. But the blender is, 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 ne oh. is needed, necessary in the Mexican kitchen. Now, for example, this blender yeah. probably has, is about 20 years old, <laughs> probably and I had to dig it out down. of the basement. I know. And a lot of people Same here in America don't, we just don't. don't no, have the mine's blender. Mine's on a shelf somewhere, and I'd have to spend time looking for it, too. Yeah, so if you, know, if you have a blender in your garage or something, get it yeah, out and try it, out these fancy recipes. All right. Okay, so what we're going to do is we make the so a sauce that's what we're going to put on the chicken. Now, she has made these up now. Okay. And she's stuck them in there, and they're getting. All right. So she's strained them a them little bit, but um, you, sh you should let them strain a little bit more in a strainer. But for time's sake, we to get the oil off. Right. Okay. Okay. We're gonna now. She's gonna start cooking up okay. the chicken. Vas a hacer la pollo. See. Si. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she needs an onion. There's the onion and a lot of garlic too, right? Mm -hmm. es, es la mitad. Okay. Mm -hmm. gonna cut this up. All right. And the soup is, is going well over there. Yes. And the sauce that you're making here is for the tacos? It's for the tacos. We're going to put on the chicken. Uh, she's going to first start frying the chicken. Okay. Okay. We're going to get, we have because the chicken then, in here warmed up. That means you cook it twice. Right. Cook it once to make it soft so you can shred it. And then now they're going to incorporate it uh, into the filling for the tacos. Okay. I'm help, going to put help the... Help her. She needs something, but she... Okay. There it is. Okay. She's going to put some water in there. Okay, here's, here's a cup, okay. it's about a cup of water, okay. a little less than a cup All of water, right. and she's putting three cloves of garlic, two okay. tomatoes, mm -hmm. and three slices of onion All right. in the blender, okay? And well, meanwhile, else? I'm going to prepare and, and one bouillon cube chicken. Uh, chicken bouillon, bouillon cube. cube, okay. And she's going to throw, throw that Does on there. Does it have there. to be hot water in there, or just uh, regular, just regular? regular water? Okay. And okay, and this is how we run this. Ah. <laughs> Mix that up really good. Uh huh. It pulverizes everything, then, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we have to do this first. Mm-hmm. Don't you That's just love these newlyweds? We're going to set that aside for a moment. Okay. Okay. Newlyweds And we're going to start kitchen. frying the chicken. All right. And we use Show them how that's shredded. Bring that over so they can. Okay. Yeah, we want to show the camera over here. Go here. This is good. See how, f how finely shredded that. You pull you just, that apart with just, a fork? Just with your hand. Oh, with your hand. You can do it with your hand or you can but cut it. It's in long pieces. However, like, you feel like you yeah. want to do it. Okay. And, and it's shredded. That's, mm -hmm. that's the term that you She's use. putting some oil in there. It's about, we measured about a quarter of a cup, cup of oil. Okay. And then she's also going to put onions in there. She's, put, she's already cut some onions and she's going to fry that. Okay. Yeah. Tortillas always have to be fried up before you use them, though, don't mm -hmm. they? Right. Another thing that we do to prepare for the, the tacos is, is gonna, we're going to heat them up in a few minutes here. Okay. But right now, she's going to be stirring that and getting that fried up. All right. And that's going to be... That's the filling. That's going to be the filling, but we're also going to add that delicious... Now, that's unusual. Yeah, I've never seen that. Uh -huh. it's and it's, this is called tinga. I don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Nobody knows what it means, so we just call it tinga because okay. we don't know what else to call it, right? And, that, and that, when you go to Mexico, if you go on the streets and you see a taco stand, you will see, um, you know, what do you want, what can you have it filled with? You'll see this glop, it's chicken with this stuff, and, um, but it's delicious, delicious, and that's called tinga, and that's now, what we're going to make. Now, I know that you're there and you're a big asset to Chris Jones because he's told us about it, but what really is your duty as part of that ministry? Well, I have a number of responsibilities. One, I go out in the streets, as you saw in the video, helping them do their programs. They do programs for children to reach thousands and thousands of children. And um, I dress up like a clown sometimes mm -hmm. and um, go out and help them. Some, some of my duties are uh, administrative. I help with computer work. 
Um, I do. I know you've had a camera. You've take, you're right. taken do, some videos to show people the progress that you're making I, there and what exactly. the ministry is doing. I do a lot of TV work, and um, and then from there, we uh, I also am working with the Hand of Love program, which is our child sponsorship program, mm -hmm. a very popular thing. Many of the ministries have that, and ours is a. Uh, a program where we have like 700 kids now that are being sponsored from all over the country. That's wonderful. So, and really, this whole ministry is funded by private donation, isn't it? Right. It's a private. It's a, a ministry, a non-denominational ministry, and uh, we are. I'm a missionary who works down there, and um, as a missionary, I have to raise my own funds as well. Sure. And uh, but thank God that Channel 40. Who produces this program has helped me in a great way. Basically, they've sent me, and I thank God for that. Well, yeah. And, but um, you were such a blessing to us when you were here, and it's nice to see some of your own go into further what God wants them to do and to be a small part of it. We'll be leaving June 1st, but um, I'm hoping to be able to make a trip with my wife every year Wonderful. so that I can tell the people and show the people what's going on. The progress. And hopefully, sure. come on at home and show them more. There Mexican you go. Restaurants. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, All the right. Time's yeah, the low. time's flying. So yeah. we're going we're gonna to start heating up these tacos. All these right. tortillas. Tortillas. What we do is we heat them up on both sides. So there's no oil in that pan, right? No oil. It's dry. In fact, you want to see how they do it in Mexico? Yeah. Right on the burner? Right on the burner. And it does it? Yeah. And they don't catch on fire? Well, sometimes they do. And you don't burn yourself? Well, sometimes <laughs> you do. Right? Sometimes you do, but... That's... Now, she's added the sauce to the chicken. Yeah, she's oh, putting the sauce that. in there and mixing it in. And that's called that's the, the thing. The thing. And she's going yeah. to um, let that cook and hopefully the water will burn. Okay, I'm burning water this one. Water will burn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, my, like, like my tortilla. Okay. Okay. But now, you, what do you it's do better to use a pan, of course. Is that what you brought this for, to put your tortillas yeah, in? Show that, me how. This is a, a tortilla holder. And yeah, we I have a special gift for you as Aww. well. Mm -hmm. this, this is a gift for you. This is also to help you with the tortillas. We'll what put does that, it say? It says, the wise woman builds her house. Oh, how nice that That's is. That's from the Psalms. Oh, and they're putting the tortillas right in and there. That, and that'll keep them warm. Well, and you then can that will, package them away. Uh -huh. Aww. And you just keep warming them. Now, now, she has to show me how she rolls these tortillas. Okay. When she can. The, this isn't quite ready, but we're going All to right. we're going to fake. But I'm going to say well, how about okay, if we no take a break and time. when we come back, okay. let's let that cook down to where it needs to be. When we come back, she can roll the tortillas. We'll finish the product and we'll show them the end. We'll be right back to show you the finished product. To get all the recipes from today's show, plus hundreds of others, just click the link in the video description or visit our website, ctvn.org slash at home. Well, I'm here in the dining room, but Ken and Juana are still in the kitchen because I wanted her to show you how to put together the taco. So Ken, just go ahead, take us through it step by step, Okay, please. let's take a look. We got the taco, we got the tortilla. It's been heated up, heated up in a dry pan. Look at the consistency. And then of the we just chicken. we put the tinga, the chicken that we made in there, and the taco has been a little bit hard. But then we fry it in the oil. We want to fry it both sides is about for about a minute each side until it's golden brown. Mm -hmm. And the frying usually keeps it close. This <laughs> is a. These tacos usually aren't like a hand kind of taco because we're going to put all the rest of the stuff on the outside. So these are good for to serve with a fork and uh, put them on the plate. Serve them on the fork. But she's got that thing golden brown and it's going to be sticking together. And then we put it on some paper towels to get that grease off. We don't want to have that oil on there. And then we put the taco down. Now I will do the final preparation. We got sour cream. Looks delicious. Smells great, Ken. Mm -hmm. And we put some lettuce on there. It's called lechuga in Spanish. Lechula. Lechuga. Lechuga. And then we have <laughs> the sauce. Now the sauce isn't obligatory. <laughs> if you don't like it, don't put it on. It still Hot. tastes good without it. Yeah. And the cheese. Right. Cheese. Oh, we bought a, a special Mexican blend of cheese at the supermarket. And oh, no. here we go. Yeah. There they are. There they are. Come and join me, please. And we already have our soup. Um, hope we can take a good shot of this soup because 
you just put a little dollop of the sour cream on top, right? Mm -hmm. And it has the chicken, it's got those fresh tortilla strips that they cooked before, and the broth of the chicken, and the shredded chicken that you also used in the tacos, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now how often, ask Juana for me, how often would her family serve something like this? Well, quantas vezes al mes o año te hacen esto en, por ejemplo, en su familia? En mi familia, mm -hmm. ellos, no sé cuántas veces en, al mes o al año, pero realmente algunas veces comemos. Es, es, every, every once in a while, it's, um, like a special a lot, thing? It's, it's a special thing, and also, but it's so simple that they also do it maybe, maybe twice a month. Ah. And, um, but they always have their, their beans with it too. Mm -hmm. We didn't have time to yeah, make the beans. Maybe the next time you come yeah. back, you make frijoles or refried beans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? No, frijoles the próxima vez. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've certainly enjoyed having you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Can you imagine how hard it would be to be in another country and not understand what people are saying and do what this lady did today? Thank you, Juana, yes. and thank you, Ken. Mm -hmm. And thank you for joining us. And like I say, be sure to join us the next time because it just wouldn't be the same without you right here at home. See you then. Ole! <laughs> Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Thank you for watching. Fresh produce provided by Jordan Banana, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Drabosburg, PA. Cookware provided by Woolies. Your favorite gourmet deserves the best for less from Woolly Balcony Cookware. Groceries provided by Foodland, where the answer is always yes. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.